What's up, folks? What's going on, people? How are you guys doing? How's Got it going? A few people in the house. Dr. Drew Dude, Goondocks, Asateskis, Jim Miller. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Knives Fast, what's going on? Man. Uh, Jim, I, uh... We, we are live, Knives Fast, okay? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I put up the the thumbnail super late. I apologize to everybody for not notifying people sooner. Actually, you know what I can do what? is uh, I can just throw a little thing on my stories real quick. Oh, there you go. If you all in the chat don't mind hanging around for one second, uh, but do do do. Here we go, camera. So we actually got a pretty fun stream planned for tonight, I think. Yeah. I think. We are live, people. Come join us. The real Sharif and on YouTube. Peace. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we do have a very interesting one tonight. Yep. It'll be... We're going to start it off with education, and then we're going to go into discussion, I think. Yes, sir. Sweet. So one of the, why don't you start off by telling people what you did? Ah, so if you guys have been following the knife debate going on between uh, the CDC channel and uh, Sharif's channel, um, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about, I said that a well-performing, inexpensive knife, right, a well-built one, will f feel better, uh, if not, you know, the same, if not better, than an expensive knife. And, you know, so we, we, we discussed that and we got, in a, we got in a debate about it. And I went into work um, and had one of our guys help me. Uh, Greg, if you guys know him from the SMKW channel at all. Uh, I had him help me uh, pick out knives completely blind. I didn't pick them out. He picked them all out. And then we went up and uh, did a test session of me blind opening knives. I didn't know the prices. I didn't know anything. All I could see was like what the brand was um, on the, the the knife, right? If I happen to know the knife, well, then obviously I know the knife. Um, but that was a complete blind test of what I felt was the best. So we, we recorded it. We did a whole big <laughs> video for it. What's up, Drew? Yeah, remove him. Um, and so <laughs> I, I have that to share with you if you guys would like to to check that out. <laughs> What's, up, guys? What's up, Drew? How you doing? Hey, Good. Drew. How are you, Drew? No, peachy keen. Drew and Drew oh. in the house. Oh, gosh. Uh, real quick, let me answer Jim's question here. Jim, if you go to Skiff's website and you go to the Baron compatibility chart, you can find the Mangana Steel and mono on that list so <laughs> is that dead drew <laughs> uh, how are you doing uh cdc drew <laughs> so yeah how does it work man literally today i well i packed up all of the corgis yesterday i packed up all the corvids today and took let's see i think it was 109 this morning and then 81 this afternoon Jesus wow. Christ, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was a lot. That is a lot, a lot, dude. So the post office that I normally go to when I take stuff is like five minutes south, just yeah. across the border in South Carolina. And their post office is like smaller than this office, which is like 12 by 12. <laughs> it's <laughs> tiny. So when I dropped off 109 packages this morning, the guy was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> They probably <laughs> shit themselves, dude. And, uh, and so, well, so I had, I had three from Tuesday, and then 106 from yesterday, and I had the scan form from Pirate Ship, yeah, for 106. But when I tried to open the scan form from the ones on Tuesday, it had 13, but I only had three with me because I had already taken the other 10 to the post office on Tuesday. Gotcha. And so I was like, hey, if you want to scan these, it'll help save you some time. And he tried to scan it from my phone because I didn't print them off. It wouldn't scan. So he yeah. had to really scan 109 packages. And I was like, hey, I'm leaving. I don't need a receipt. You're good. You can do it tomorrow morning if you want to. Like, I don't care. It's fine. Yeah. 
And yeah. then I printed the one off for the 81 this afternoon, the Corvids, and it scanned just fine for the guy, the main post office in Gaston. So I, I don't know. That's um, dumb. I'll be yeah, straight with you. They, I, feel scan off. I feel accomplished if I can pack in ship like 20, 25 packages. Well, so what's nice is I don't have to QC anything. These are coming straight from Concept sure. and Frosty. So okay. like if there were a hundred plus of our own, yes, I would have to QC them. All. But yeah, I I have not QC'd anything um, so far that's gonna collab. Jesus, my child does <laughs> not want to leave the house right now. Apparently, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I haven't QC'd anything. We've had no complaints at all. Like Frosty and Concept have been awesome. So. That's yeah. the best. Um, if you do have any issues, if it's hardware related, I got you. Um, I don't know if concept. I don't think concept sent extra hardware. Um, they can always get in touch with concept for that. Yeah, um, but anything bossy, as long as it's hardware, I've got extra hardware. They send us extra hardware. Um, but if it's like a blade issue, it's gonna have to go back to bossy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, if it's a yeah. blade or locking mechanism issue, but. Dude, I didn't realize that. So when Concept sent us the prototypes for the Corvids, uh, they just came in bubble wrap. So mm -hmm. here's the packaging. Oh, oh yeah. Concept box. Yeah, Concept mm -hmm. has nice boxes. Yeah, they do. With a little Concept pouch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, Roman? What's up? Uh, little... I, I haven't even opened this yet. Uh, you get a little microfiber cloth and uh the warranty information so if you have any issues with your corvid just read this and it will show you all of the uh warranty information for those sweet but, so. and at uh, least with concept you can be sure that it's not just crappy chinese to american translate or english translation yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, let's see kevin, I, I kevin smith shoot him a message on instagram It's the mm -hmm. easiest way. What's up, Josh? Yeah, I just now realized that we never posted our extra hardware sets for the Salem and the Chicago. Oh, yeah. yeah we never did. posted them. Uh, we did for the Hanson, but not for the... Uh, Crispy. Mm -hmm. the other. So, does this have prototypes on it? Dude. So CDC drew, did you hear what Knives 101 drew uh, has been doing in his on his own time? Or, uh, uh, I assume that it has something to do with the message that he sent the CDC um, Instagram the other day that I looked at, and I assumed he was talking to Luke, so I didn't respond to. Um, and Luke didn't even respond to me. He talked oh, to Greg. Not? No, he talked to Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, dude didn't respond to me. I went into work to like tell Greg about it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Luke from CDC wrote me." I was like, "Hey, can we do oh this for God. like the channel?" And well, <laughs> no, because <laughs> it's not a SMKW thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he didn't even respond. So Greg already knew everything when I went into the store. Oh, so geez. I did a. Uh, Greg picked out all the knives. Uh, yeah. He brought some from his personal collection, and we picked out from, or he picked out some from the store. Nice. Um, I have no idea what they were, um, <laughs> and I just unless you know I unless I've seen it before, obviously yeah, stuff like yeah. that, um, and I just rated them. So I, nice. I recorded it, did all of that. So all of the openings of whether inexpensive or expensive, um, nice. I finally did the video that I said I'd do. So yeah, which is nice. awesome. Now here's the thing: Did you tell him the price range, or are you? No. Nope. You... So so can I can I say? We even had a discussion in the video of me guessing the prices of the knives Ooh. and him correcting me. So Ooh, okay. the, the video, I'm just going to tell you, it's amateur quality. I don't know how to do this shit. But um, and then also I want to ask before we watch it or anything like that. Um, the first couple I have a revised um, opinion on because I felt the others after and I rated them too highly. OK, uh -huh. so they they are adjusted as as they needed to be. Um, just so you guys know. Nice. So. Here's the uh, Corgi packaging for those wondering. Oh, yeah. sweet. Dude, the sticker, the 
Oh, that's cute. Oh yeah. I really, I need to, I need to get a corgi now, dude. So. God. Uh, just for the sticker. I don't know if you want me to tell <laughs> anybody, but there may or may not be a couple going out tomorrow to y'all, maybe. Oh, sweet. Know. Let us, let them know, please. Um, That'd be cool. I'm going to pick one up as soon as they come in then. Uh, Fostied uh, microfiber cloth, and then this is the black watch. I'm I'm happy that you guys uh you guys figured out the issue of like not getting ordering in because I know we talked about that before. Yeah. Oh, it was a it was a substantial order. It definitely good. helped a lot. Good. Good, good. I'm happy we're getting you guys in more because I know we have the cabinet space. I mean, yeah. so we can we can put you in. I'm happy we did a big order. The main thing was the break between um the break in between shot show and like the first of y'all's fiscal year or something yeah like that. so i i can almost guarantee the reason and because we did this with a bunch of other companies too yeah. is during that time it is so slow for us like yeah we seriously went days we didn't sell a microtech <laughs> how do you not sell a microtech at least once a day yeah um yeah. and so like <laughs> it would it'd be completely dead but now Whoa, we actually shit. We actually brought and bought a bunch more knives, so we have a bunch more in stock oh, nice. and stuff now. Nice. So, like, Boker was empty for, like, three or four months. It's Dang. completely full now. Like, Dang. completely Boker. full. Boker. Yeah. yeah. So, it was just, it was because we were in our off season, um, yeah. and we yeah. just decided, and, you know, it's, it's better to keep it either on the web and not in yeah. the store or stuff like that. Yeah. So... But now that we can keep it in the store and it sells like hotcakes in the store, we we definitely got some. <laughs> Here's the uh, the satin. Just disregard Ooh, the. Trash. I like the satin. The absolute trash that Sharif has on camera right now. <laughs> Colored. Mm-hmm. These are so. I I love the corgi. The, I do too. I love the corgi. Like it's so fast, my camera can't even pick it up like and it's faster than 30 my, frames per second let's go yeah my, well, <laughs> and my fingers are kind of fucked from all the packaging and labeling today it was dude it was like 350 and i was like i'm pretty sure the post office closes at 4 30 mm -hmm. and i have like 27 more to label and i was like i was just speed labeling them <laughs> i was like I, i've got to make it to the post office. <laughs> there's going to be some labels uh, that are upside down yeah, sideways exactly. <laughs> let's yep. just get okay, it done well, on the box in the right box it's fine. <laughs> Dude, what's up urban are fucking heavy not the knife them yeah. like the knives themselves i mean they are but this in a box, 14 ounces, bro. Jesus, dude. 14 ounces. My Kaimanos are 11. Yeah. That is heavy, dude. Yeah. Because the, the Espada from Cold Steel, that big one, yeah. the Espada XL is 14.6 ounces. Damn. <laughs> like, and that's a big boy. <laughs> so. <laughs> dude, that's like almost oh yeah. that's, that's what i'm saying like that is a huge thing and it's that much yep this is my knife crime knife <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see so I've, i assumed luke would be on before me yeah i mean i mean i want to wait to start the video before luke or you know for luke to join but yeah i just texted him it's, by really the way, just, I'm just going to forewarn, it's a 30-minute video. Oh, jeez. I like, was like, bro, let me take a, uh, <laughs> let me take a Steve, Stevie, and, uh, and then I'll be on. And he's like, all right, cool. Well, we can... In, and then in I was like, hey, Sharif just sent the link in the uh, Instagram. And he's yeah. like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he... he I, I, I thought he saw it, because he sent me a text message saying he was going to be a little bit behind, you know? Uh, um, did he tell you that he uh, stabbed a hole in his Camry with his dead reckon? In his camera? Camry. Camry. His, his car. car. <laughs> Why? 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 Hey, Why? hey, when he does get on, just be like, hey, how's the car? <laughs> okay. <laughs> how's your car feeling? <laughs> so apparently, when he got home from work, 
I don't know why, but he when he pulled into the driveway, uh, there's like a bunch of bushes next to where he parked. And uh, he was like, dude, I was I just was ready to get out of the car. I took my dead wreck in. I started just slaying the fucking bush branches. And he said that when he came down on one of them, it went through the fucking car door, bro. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Hey, man. What's up, Luke? You talking smack? <laughs> How's that car doing you, buddy? <laughs> the car's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a chunk missing How, out. Though. How's the dead reckon knife? That's the more important question. <laughs> so the blade. Hold on, let me zoom in here. You Park. can see where it hit right yep. there. Yep. But yeah, that's, that's three V for you. Yeah, yep. that's three V for you. <laughs> uh, the car itself is is kind of messed up, but there's some blade <laughs> rock. And it's that, like, hey, but I gotta ask: Is that the? Isn't that the same one you hammered into the? Uh, no, no, so that was their prototype. This is like the actual whatever one. Ooh, I got you. So, okay. if you didn't know, Sean at Dead Reckon is amazing. The whole team at Dead yeah. Reckon is amazing, and they're Sean's gonna fix it. Uh, okay, sweet. Oh, and those will be here tomorrow. So if you ordered a Ridgeback, of which we only have two left on this drop, I um, saw yeah. modified. Um, they will be here tomorrow, so I'll ship those out first thing. Good. Should I go take a picture of the car door? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's yeah, actually we'll worth work. it. Yeah, we need to go see it. I'll be back. Dude, actually, also right. speaking I will of be that, right back as well, Mike. Okay. In the night I'm at numbers. Uh, if you guys want a blend and mono, I think there's only one left in the store. So these are, I'm currently selling the blends. You guys want one? Just check the msknives.com. I think there's literally one left. I just linked it in. Nice. I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> Have a good one, Kathleen. Thanks for checking in. Let's see you, Kathleen. Thanks for joining. So, for everybody who's in the chat, right? So, you guys heard Drew spent some time. At it's like least, two hours. Like, yeah, I was, gonna, <laughs> In total. I was literally going to guess that. Like, well, it was it was two hours today, and then yesterday I spent like an hour and a half with my boss and Greg trying to figure out how we should do this. So, oh, yeah. yeah, it was like a it was like a three and a half hour ordeal cool. of no pay. Uh, purple blends. Yep, purple. Yes. Uh, so now here for for everybody who's in the chat, right? You you experimented or or experienced I should say with knives from what price range to what price range? So, I had Greg again. I want to reiterate. I had no idea what was coming out. Um, I had Greg pick all of the knives, and the price range ranged from one thousand like one hundred dollars till seventy nine cents. Okay. So. And the seventy-nine cent one is actually pretty surprising, in my opinion. All right, and then the yeah, okay. So, without I don't want to give anything away because I know a little bit about the, like the range. Where do you guys in the chat? What where do you think what price range stacked in first place, and what price range stacked in last place? I know seventy nine cents. Let's call it a dollar. A dollar to eleven hundred dollars <laughs> is a wide gamut. But yeah. we know if you if you're collectors, you guys know that there's some sort of like prices, right? Like there's stuff around forty dollars. Then there's stuff around seventy dollars. There's stuff around like you know a hundred, one fifty, you know two hundred, two fifty, three hundred, etc. So. Now, the metrics people. were um, the smoothest opening, non-automatic, non-assisted. Smoothest opening, manual knife. It could be a thumb stud. It could be a flipper. It could be a thumb hole. It could be anything. It just had to open manually instead of assisted or automatic. Okay. Okay. So Jim Miller's guessing the hundred to two hundred dollar range. Jim, you and I guessed very similar. Similarly, I said one fundo- fifty to two fifty range. Yep. Sean Bethel says the one dollar. One dollar, okay. 
I think SMKW Drew has trash taste. Wow. <laughs> I honestly think the top three. Yeah. Or if, actually, I want to say the top six, okay, with how I have them like written on my spreadsheet here, um, yeah. are good taste, personally. Nice. Personally. Nice. In your face, Dr. Drew. <laughs> and and I think you'll think them too, because they are actually good knives. Like, th they are proper good knives. All right, fair. Let's see. And, okay. Yeah, Jim's, Jim's agreeing with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, dude, that was, that was rough. Dude, my back yet? loves to be outside. Oh my god! <laughs> loves now, that. I can tell you oh, that's your, good. Entire, your yeah. entire range is is screwed because you haven't gotten to open one of these yet. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. I gotta get a wider diversity. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is if I get any little bit of free time to walk around Blade Show Atlanta, yeah. I'm gonna try doing the same thing. Oh, nice. nice. So just do a quick recording. I'm not going to ask him the price. I'm just going to walk up and say, hey, can I f give me your smoothest opening manual knife? I don't want to know the price. I'm just doing it for a live stream. Yeah. I, I, I really want to try right. doing it. And I'll like compile it and make it like an actual video. What would you say? I said you could use one of our cameras too if you don't have a camera. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I was just going to use my Pixel. <laughs> it looks good. So. Heck yeah. And then uh, actually Greg... Um, they got a new set of microphones that uses USB-C, oh. and so um, we tested that out today. So we actually had mics on. We were we were mic'd up. That's awesome. So not the not the DJI's. No, it was like I don't know what brand they were, but they it actually worked really really nicely. Nice. nice. It's uh, oh god, what am I? Fuck, I'm trying to remember the other brand. Uh, DJI is one of the best, and then yeah, there's, uh, Hollyland. Direct... Which one? Hollyland, the Mark yeah. one. I think he said he got them for like pretty cheap too, oh. like maybe like TikTok shop or something. Maybe, oh. but but they actually work like really good. I want a set of those DJI wireless ones, man. Those yeah, I do too for when I go to Blade Show, just for like yeah. personal stuff. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Did you did you film the video for this or is it going to oh, be a separate Holly video? Lamb. Uh, Please. this is I, I filmed the the video for this. Yep. Dude, awesome. They're, so uh, it's on the Pixel. We can watch it whenever you guys are ready. So I got the pictures pulled up too, Sharif, when you're ready for that. All right. So we oh, tried cool. using these at Smoky Mountain, and then I realized that I did not have it synced to run these. How, how have so you guys <laughs> messed up audio now twice? Luke has once, and you have once. <laughs> it was Learning recording. So it was recording the audio. I just didn't select this mic. It was just using oh, I got yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, and mine was just recording it. Or four X slow. Mode. Yeah. <laughs> so, see, see why it's important to have two sources of audio now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, Josh Worth agreed. Bro, have you seen Brian's custom? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. We went and ate sushi um, with him the other week. Oh my god, that thing is so smooth. The South so, African makers are killing it. Yes. I want to try their stuff. Um, you can see the bamboo is right here, and I was slicing it because it was annoying the crap out of me. You can see the cut marks. Um, but there's where it hit the door. <laughs> Took a nice little like, chunk. Dude, yeah. that's a chunk. Like That's a chunk. Knife versus door. Like You can oh, yeah. see. 100%. Like, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the outside. That's where the door closed. Like, you could still see it right there. <laughs> that's <kind> absolutely <laughs> insane so I, I i can't even flick it open all the way now like all the time it, it i gotta i gotta send it in <laughs> I'm, i felt so stupid dude i felt so <laughs> stupid Bro, see what happened. anger gets you <laughs> <laughs> dude that's sick though i mean 3v is one of the tougher stainless steels you know yep. so or i mean it's on the fence of maybe being stainless or non-stainless but it, it's it's badass steel for sure oh yeah. i have 
I have some stuff in 3v and 4v, and it's like overkill for the knives that I have them. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. Like, um, here. What are y'all doing? Both of the CDC guys are doing something crazy. I'm taking oh, was, a photo was, of the blade. And I was uh, putting patches on the wall behind the guitar. Oh, see? He got more patches. I need to do that. I think I'm going to take down that Nitto banner and just make all above my bed like that carpet you guys said to get at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Don't do what I did. This what? is actual adhesive Velcro strip. Yeah, no. I'm going to get carpet. Yeah, no. It sticks, the it sticks on the carpet that I have right there. So it's, it's fun. Whoa, we are honored to have Mallory designs in the house. Hey, Mallory. How's it going, Mallory? We are not worthy, sir. Welcome. Absolute pleasure. Glad to see you here, my dude. So, Mr. Mallory, uh, in case you didn't know, so we've been having a long standing debate about price versus feeling and. Uh, you know, does paying more get you more? Yeah. And we have Drew here who authors the Knife 101 uh, sort of page. And that that is his baby over at SmokyMountainKnifeWorks.com. And, of course, us three here, myself, Luke, and Drew, uh, CDC Drew, all, all have been on the, we are collectors, so we are not afraid to spend money on our knives. But Drew has said there is very steep rate of diminishing returns. Yes. <laughs> yes. So he, he spent some time and recorded his sort of blind taste test, we'll, we'll call it. And, uh, dude... It, I'm. I want to see the results now. Just again to preface this, this was from seventy nine cents all the way up to eleven hundred dollars. One page. <laughs> what you did eleven hundred dollars? Yeah. Holy crap! Now hold on. I got. I got to ask. Did he tell you the price of the knife at all? So before what you we had it? to do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna re preface because we're all here now before we watch yes. the video. Greg picked out all these knives completely blind himself. Um, some were from his personal collection, so I have never seen them before. We don't carry them in the store, stuff like that. And then others where he picked out in the store. Um, I had to rate them on smoothness. Um, that was the main thing. And then we also, I also tried to guess the price of the knife based on its smoothness or what it was, because I've seen like the logo or something like that. Right? Yeah. Um, some of the knives I did know because obviously they're just iconic, like the Hogue Deca, right? You're going to yeah. recognize that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it kind of it kind of worked out like that. So cost, Dude, cost and everything. And then also I just want to say, again, it was completely blind. I had no idea what any of these are. So now I already presented it to the chat, Luke and CDC Drew, right? What price range do you guys think won and took first place? Or you 285. 285. Okay. Yes. Drew? Hmm. I'm going to say 150. Okay. Drew's closer to where I guessed. I guess 150 to 250 range. Now, yep. Could you see the knife, or were you blindfolded, or no? I, I could see them. Yeah, because I I was the one doing all the cameras and stuff. Greg was opening okay. boxes or getting them all ready for me. Okay. Um, and so I could see the knife. I inspected it. I show them off stuff like that. Um, I just want to reiterate because now you guys are both here. The first couple that I open, okay, have a revised score. And it is posted right here. I have it. I have the the revised score. It's because I didn't feel the other ones, and I gave them too high of a score. So okay, those are revised scores. The first like four or five are, they're they're sure. revised. Okay, but the rest of them and the rest through the video, it's all correct. So, and I, I've got to ask this too, and you can answer after we watch the video. But yeah. I've got to know, could you feel the difference? And has it changed your mind at all? You can answer at the end of the video after we watch your, your That's clip. That's a good question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, ask it again at the end of the video. Yeah. 
but right, let's, I, let's I think you guys will, I think you really will enjoy the video. Now it is amateur. It's vertical. I even told Greg, I want it horizontal and we couldn't figure it out. So, <laughs> um, just, just a forewarning. It is a vertical video. And I do apologize. Good. How can we trust him if he's changing his numbers all willy nilly? I love it. Um, no, because you will agree with me that I gave them too high of a score. If you felt them yourselves. Okay. I, I mean, it, it really is not like, it's it's not ridiculous the the changing of scores okay so let me get this presented yes sir i want to uh can i share a video file really yeah what the this is news to me All yeah right. just uh share screen and window your and browser you is having trouble sharing the video oh I'm okay good. well we're just going to share the screen and hopefully the audio picks up there you go uh hey there we go Share screen. Extra cheese, extra peripheral. I want to share. Sorry, oh. getting it ready. Allow. There it is. Okay. All right, now play it. Let's see if we get all. Let's let's see if we can hear it. Can you hear it? You can, Barely. Barely. Let me kill the music. And I can crank this up and lower my audio. So yeah, crank it up for sure. There's 125 percent. And it may be because my audio is low on my computer. I don't know. That no, should just be application based. All right. How's that? Very quiet on our end. Very quiet. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh. Well. Let me see if I turn up my audio if it helps. Hey guys. So. Uh, I'm yes. Gonna yes. Out some okay. Guys for you. So. Uh, no, I I'm gonna leave my headphones off. There you go. <laughs> You can turn it up even a little bit more. Just gonna leave this here. <laughs> so like the the price and the pricing and everything was completely unplanned. Drew, you can turn up at the volume more. No, it's at a hundred percent, dude. Hundred oh, okay. percent and hundred and twenty-five percent. Gotcha. I don't know why it's not being louder. Can you send this video? Yeah. I think I have it on my Google Drive. Yeah. Well, oh, you yeah. should be able to present straight from Google Drive, too. Yeah. Okay, let me try. If you also, got it on the Google Drive, drop me the link, and I should be able to yes. okay. share it. No problem. Sorry, this is my first time doing it, guys, so my no apologies. Worries. No worries, no worries. Uh, We're all learning here. Yeah, Yeah. right? It's a learning experience. Jim, I feel for you, dude. I had a hellacious allergy attack yesterday. Man, it's yeah, uh, man. I, I got that VLC maxed out. You know it. I love VLC. It's the best. Why would I use anything else? Yeah, hundred percent. All right, give me one second. I got to get to my work <laughs> account. Yeah, dude. I am very, very curious to see the the results of this and. Until we get that going, let's get. It the just says an error occurred. It won't even play the video. But can, can you create a shareable link? Yeah, I'll it? share it and see if it'll play it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Can you send me your email? Or here, let me create a link. There we go. Oh no! Yeah, just drop it in the private, private link. Chat here private in Streamyard. No, nope, wrong one. I copied it too. <laughs> God damn it! There we go. There it is. See if it'll stream for you. That's right, Mallory. We'll do it live. Yeah. Also, I'm hearing myself twice. Do y'all hear me? No. Do you have a YouTube pulled up or anything? Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Want to be full screen? 
It says video will be ready soon. So just waiting for that to load. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So that Kaiser we first saw, uh, just because we're sitting here, yeah. uh, the rating on it was revised to a 7, just so you all know. Okay, fair. So I gave it a little bit too high, in my opinion, and no, I gave it a little revise. Your original one, was, what was your original rating of it? You'll see it in the video. I don't remember. Okay. I didn't write that down. He's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, it's too high, bro. It's too high. <laughs> it was too high. No, it was too high, especially after I felt some of the other ones. Um, it was definitely too high. Like, but you one I can say I compared it to was like, is, yeah, like I know. had my Hanson, right? And I, like, I could tell a difference. That was one I didn't blind test. This was the one I didn't blind test was I just did it for filler and, and rated it in comparison. You should make every one of those a YouTube short and post them. <laughs> they're so shit dude they're so <laughs> shit hey or it's got a point put the two thousand dollar mic up to the computer <laughs> that's one way to get it louder there you go two thousand dollar mic it's a hundred bucks man <laughs> yeah oh absolutely because yeah it, it, well, Mallory, maybe you can you can agree or disagree with me. Um, I I love I love. Uh, oh, by the way, hi, what's up? How are you? Um, yeah, unfortunately, this is, in my opinion, this this statement is true, particularly for American-made knives, like. And here's the thing, I love American-made knives. I mean, and when I say American-made knives, I mean, with the exception of maybe say like Benchmade and Spyderco, more so Spyderco than Benchmade. Uh, but you end up paying a lot for patriotism and yeah. Yeah. let or fit and finish. Now, oh, and I'm also excluding Chris Reeves, because I think, dude, for for <laughs> versus fit and finish tolerances, right? Like Chris Reeves is hard to beat, honestly. Yeah. Um, like really, really, really hard to beat. That's one of the few brands that the price when it when, especially now that I know what I know, yeah. uh, I I absolutely think that. Uh, Chris Reeves is worth every penny, but like in comparison, like oh, CPM. I really dig Striders. Uh, this is mine, but I don't know that this is worth Chris Reeves plus money. That's fair. I'm actually I, I can say I I absolutely know it's not worth Chris Reeves plus money. But, fair enough. Uh, I still love it, and I'm not going to get this anywhere else. So they have that corner of the market, which kind of sucks, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're comparing the smoothness, I guess, yep. of deployment on knives that Drew has yeah. no idea the price. Nope. I, I even guessed the prices. So on. the argument for y'all that you don't know, it's he was saying that you don't need to buy an expensive knife you can just get a regular knife this is the same argument we had the other day this is a continuation of that this is like two weeks of went, arguments yeah, <laughs> yeah this is this is him actually going out and testing out a bunch of knives blindly so he could get the full argument and see what is the best bang for your buck per se on functionality Yep, for, uh, opening. for the money. opening specifically. I didn't compare locks. I didn't compare fit and finish. I didn't compare if the blade was center. It was just yeah. opening purely. Yeah. And by the way, CPM, yes, when I did get the Strider in, it had hellacious lock stick. But having said that, my last two Spider Co's I got had pretty hellacious lock stick mm -hmm. as well, which is surprising because. The Strider is titanium on steel without a steel lock bar insert. And the Spider Coves were steel. You yep. know, they have their, their compression lock. Um, so, 
I, I haven't had an American made knife now, except my Para 3 lightweight that hasn't had box there. Tolerances versus cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It still works. It still works. Barely. It actually works quite well. Does it? Okay. I just, it just it just has a little bit of rock lock right here. Yeah. A little bit of lock rock never hurt nobody. Did that thing get ready or did the video get ready, Sharif? Dude, it's still loading. I'm gonna try and reload it, but That's what it I'm is... I don't know why it was quiet for you guys though. Yeah. Like cause the audio itself isn't quiet. I had everything maxed out. That's uh the only thing I can think of, let me see, in audio settings. No, there's not an option. It's not like Discord where you can like increase your audio output. Yeah. I even tried downloading the video and that was gonna be my suggestion, just send it to Discord. Yeah, it's just the MP4. I mean, no, but Discord has got a file size. 500 number. megabyte. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, hmm. Okay. Since, since we don't have a ton of time, and we may not have the video. Um, you guys just want to talk about it? Yeah, let's talk about it. All right. But so, to answer this, uh, Mallory, I'm going to be at both. Yep, I, I'm going to be at Atlanta. I won't have a table. I know the CDC boys will have a table, right? In Atlanta. In the small you know it. Yeah, yeah we'll have a big, room. big booth. SMKW will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of hey, course. I don't have that money. <laughs> it's not it's company money, buddy. I just show up. <laughs> Ours is company money, too. We don't have that kind of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? <laughs> exactly. I, I definitely don't. I'm the smallest out of the three of us, <laughs> business-wise. I definitely don't have the money. <laughs> Although, I, I don't know if I can. I guess I can say this. Smoky Mountain just bought a about Drew almost all of our that, stock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, dude. I'm that's super cool. happy we, we actually bought some more stock. But yeah, so let's talk about it. Let, let's at least talk about uh, the top five. Okay. You know? Or not the top um, five, the first five. So oh, yeah, the first five, I, do, I didn't write down the exact names, okay? I just wrote down the brand because I thought we were going to watch the video and stuff. Yeah. Uh, first one that we saw was a Kaiser. Yeah. Um, that first Kaiser, I rated it. The revised rating was a seven on it. It was really, really smooth. I really enjoyed it. Um, the next two Greg threw me for a loop on and actually grabbed, um, some from a hardware store, like a combo pack <laughs> hardware store knives. Um, both of those received the second lowest rating with a five. Okay. Um, then we went to, if you guys have any experience with it, the night horse Dirk. No, that mm. is a super cool knife really really they they don't make them anymore uh we still have a couple left in stock in the titanium version um they are super cool i like them a lot really smooth oh. this is the navaja style um one this guy yeah they, that's yeah. the exact one that's I, cool, I tested man. the night horse asymmetrical yep and yeah. i tested the g10 as well both okay. of them i rated a seven and a half Okay. okay. Um, and then Greg whipped out another curveball. It was just some China crap type stuff, right? Okay. Like, I mean, the cheap stuff, right? Like, you pick it up in a buy from bin down, for from downstairs. Yeah, it's like a three dollar knife. Okay, like yeah. it's it's not good. Yeah. Um, I rated that. That was the lowest. It was four. Okay. Um, wow, just, worse than the the the. Uh, the hardware store knives. The hardware store knives. Dang. Yes, the hardware store knives were actually not that bad. They're just they were just a, like stiff with their Correct. opening, but Good. the lock was solid. It didn't get sticky. It it just it felt nice, yeah. right? To to be able to to open up and everything. If you needed to use it, it was okay. Okay. Um, the next one we tested was a something obscene. Oh, okay. Um, I could. The only reason I gave it this rating as not higher is I know that they do their thumb studs in a way as to where it should just work, right? Right, like they, they angle them properly. Yeah. Um, I couldn't get the thumb stud to work. I had to back flick it. Oh, interesting. 
And I'm not very good at back flicking knives. That's just me. I can't spidey flick. I can't do anything like that. So I, it's just, that's just me. I don't know. Uh, so I gave that one a seven and a half as well. Which one? Uh, that one, first one, right there. Boom. Very first one? Yes, sir. The leck. I wish yep. I could hear what Drew's saying over nails on chalkboard. Yeah, that's I know, you can hear that. pretty garbage. Yeah. <laughs> God. Um, so I tested that one, and I couldn't get if you if you zoom in on that thumb stud, the the front thumb yeah. stud, I just couldn't get uh, it to work yeah. with my thumb. It it wouldn't work, but that back spot, but that back flick yeah. worked fantastic. Mm, so that that's the only reason I gave it a, a seven and a half and tied it with that Dirk. It's just it it I couldn't get the the front way to open. That's interesting Ooh. that you tied that with a Dirk because of the price difference. Yeah. Well, and I, that's the thing is I didn't know the prices. And a lot of these, I didn't even get close well, to guessing the price. That's good. That's what I'm saying. That's good. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. No, I already it, did, Lauren. Completely. Um, so the next one, uh, with, we tested. Quick, yeah, go ahead. Before you continue, from a design perspective, I find that also very interesting that yeah. you had some challenges with this design, right? Uh, of the the thumb stud because I seriously like, tried it in the video like seven or eight times. Oh yeah, I absolutely. didn't get it once, and I mean you could it, see like I'm I'm trying I'm stressing my my thumb to try and get it to open. Nope, wouldn't open. Yeah, because it, it, it's like a it's you see a lot of makers do this sort of like triangular shape where it's elongated on this inner side, right? So yep. like when you think about it, you're holding the knife here, right? And you're using your thumb to- It, it should work. Out, right. And it, the point of having that long taper is to have more surface area. Yep, but completely. Clearly there was something missing because from my perspective, I don't care if 80% of the people have no problem opening it. If 20% don't, you don't have a really well resolved design no like, fair yeah really, fair you know uh it was i hitting the frame lock it. no i i wasn't because how i grab knives because i've done that before is i grab them by their clip on the yeah. back and so like when i'm when i'm trying to open them like this kind of grip yeah yep no exactly so that's i find that very interesting actually okay yeah. well um, I, uh dr drew made a good point it's shaped like a thumb disc and i've never been able to actuate a thumb disc i can't do a thumb disc either oh, nope. oh With my. My thumb. i i gotta i gotta jump in here as as the thumb disc emerson guy <laughs> i like them i think they're cool i can do them with the pocket and everything but i can't do just the thumb disc yeah doesn't well, work i for can me. reverse flick a, a thumb disc all day yep. long yeah but the but normal way can't do thumb. it yeah so there, there's a technique to the thumb disc, and the the misconception here is I'll try and show it. The misconception is that you're supposed to come from underneath the disc. Uh, Don't get your thumb on on the, the disc. Wall. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So treat it like a stud. Like yeah, put your thumb under on the bottom half. Okay. Of the disc. And then pick upwards. Okay. I've never been have a, to try been a fan of of, of uh, discs. Oh, bro, get on that disc light. It is. Mm. <laughs> Who puts it? Exactly um, the guy's name was Emerson. Yep, he he started I, uh, that. It wasn't just Emerson. No, bro. but he made it really popular. Yeah, he did. yeah. <laughs> like, like I've got a, a good friend of mine. He is a Emerson. W H O. I'll let you finish it. Um, oh, and, you mean me? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, and he, he was like, dude, you got to get an Emerson. You got to get an Emerson. And just about every fucking Emerson that he had was a uh, fucking chisel grind. And I hate chisel yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate them. And I'm you like, dude, if this had a fucking regular, you know, level f- on it, I'd be yeah. fine. A flat grind? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> something. Period. Have not- you tried these Emersons, the V chisel? No. So this is this will be more to your liking because it has. But see, it's got to have the wave. No, this doesn't have. Big. 
Oh, if you there's plenty of ones that have the wave too. Yeah, but there's not that many that I found, and this was God fucking six eight years ago that had the wave and they were had a regular edge on. Uh, so the CQC fifteen does the um, not the CQC seven. He's doing more with the V chisel because there's a lot of people like you who just hate yeah. your chisels, you yeah. know. See I'm Mallory, uh, yes, from Trevor. Uh, yeah, I'm go grab it. Yes, you, you know, you know who else made thumb discs popular? Gas stations, bro. No, gas stations. no. Shut dude, up. Dude, 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 it's too Shut expensive up. for a gas station night. <laughs> They're Shut so up. ugly, bro. They Be remind quiet. me of. Are you kidding me? Look at this. That's this. just a wrong <laughs> opinion, there, Luke. Matthew, it's this not this even a really debate hard. opinion. Beautiful thumb disc on top. Grab one. Okay, stop focusing on my face. There we go. All right. <laughs> no, bro. Beautiful. The, the knife looks fantastic if you yeah. took that off, bro. No. No. <laughs> No. Uh, so Sharif, I actually have an idea for how I can um, show off the knife. Yeah. Um, and still tell you it without having to watch the video. Oh, I'll just dude, present dude. the video, and yeah, I'll just skip to that knife. Here, Sharif, dude, do it. Do All it. right. Well, so we'll share my this screen. This one I grabbed from uh, Trevor Cullen, and this thing. Is that? There it is. Yes. There you go. There you go. No, uh, I don't know what model it is. The Horseman or something? Uh, the 8F. No, it's, um, there, there's a name for that one. Yeah, but, dude. That's, and, that's the B chisel. And it's a flipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it's got some horrible fucking locks in it, though. So, the horrible. more you, the more you use mm. it, all yeah. of my Emersons came with lock stick. The yeah. more you use it, it goes away, and it becomes... Oh, oh, it's smooth. It's it's super smooth. Once you yeah, get I got it now. Dude. And like, dude, I, I always about. tried to get up under it. <laughs> like, yeah, I could dude. Do it all day long. But did, did you try? If you tried yeah. that technique, yeah, it yeah. works so much better, it doesn't it? Does. I'm gonna have to try it now. Yep. Yeah, thumb disc revolution. <laughs> yes, validation. <laughs> That's Holy. funny. No <laughs> way, gas station. All right, Grimmel So cutting. let's see. Oh, so this, <laughs> just just a recap. I'm trying to see if I get a frame here. So that first Kaiser we tested, uh, whatever that was, a seven, and then I tested these things out. Ooh, what is that? Those are called hearts, and those are from the the hardware store. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was so about those, to say, are, is that from the hearts gas station? Because it looks those those are hardware store knives. Okay. Um, yeah. Heart, uh, Walmart. Brand? That clip is abysmal. I don't know. I really have no idea. Heart is a Walmart brand, I think. Uh, and then, Walmart. so that was the first one, and then this was the second one I tested out. Both rated a five. They were. Not hey, nice. that's got your seatbelt cutter on there, baby. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. and that glass breaker, you know, yeah. in case you need it. That's a, uh, that, that is a law enforcement officer's knife, if I have ever seen it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, so and this I bet one, that would cut through a door. So this yeah. combo pack was 20 bucks. Okay. It was a combo pack from the from the two. So um, 10 bucks a knife, basically? Yeah, so those two. 10 bucks a knife. Uh, next one, here's the Dirk. That we tested out. Yeah. Um, that one got a seven and a half rating. Really, nice. really like that one. Skip ahead here. There's that cheap China crap. And I can call oh, it that because I don't hey, even know hey, the hey, brand. Hey, it's not a brand. Hey, hey, that's a Dalica, bro. That, that not is Dalica, okay. A Dalica? No, is that the, is uh, not. From the face of the planet. You just no. have the aftermarket uh, thumb studs. Here we yes. go. This, this is okay, dude, that's mine, a Dalica mine that is in rated the, state, bro. the absolute lowest out of them all. No, this, this, this is, has the best action you will ever. No, have. no, no that is a four. No, nah, no, nah. and that's you, not a Dalica if you look. By the, the way, no, no, no. Dalica, not Delica. I didn't say Delica. I said Dalica. 
It that's, is the knife of kings. That's yeah. not a Dalika. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Okay, no, it has a hole, so it's not a trick. It's uh, not a Dalika. It really it was like a three dollar knife. I'm so not even Dalika. joking with you. No, no, so it was the Dalika. Dalika. Yeah. The Dalika is a no, three dollar knife. That sir. does not feel good in the slightest. It drops well, but to open it is so stiff. No. No. <laughs> no way. No. I can he disrespect has it. No idea. I want. No. Yeah, he has no clue. No. Whoop. You may get a dollar for one of these days. Yeah, I won't. I didn't like it. That rated the you lowest. Have to, you have to earn your Dalika. You don't just yeah. get a dollar. I want to earn that garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Yeah, it yeah, it was like a Dalika clone, okay? <laughs> it was not nice. It was seriously okay. I just want to point this out, okay? Going back. Do you see it? It yeah. was slippery. <laughs> to hold. That's what she said. Okay? <laughs> oh, so, no. yeah. I'm going to stand by my rating of four for that one. <laughs> the Knife of Kings. There's that other one, seven and a half. Yeah, I mean, you guys want to tell me why the Dalika is special? Brian, you've got one of those, don't you? I think Brian got that from y'all. I think when he came up to visit, I think I could be totally wrong. The Dalika and the Mini Eagle, Knives of Kings. Hey, nope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss because I don't get into hype stuff. <laughs> Felt like garbage. It's no hype. It's no hype. <laughs> A barbarian, bro. Yeah, you will understand. Thank you. Way. It did not feel good. Don't waste your three dollars on it. No. Go get you some fries. Buy it. Buy it. It's you gifted. Can't buy it. it is gifted. It's not him. good. And it is. You, you could barbarian. only get gifted, bro. No. Yeah. You cannot it's... buy it. No. Ah, fuck it's that. It's not bird. good. Yeah. No. Barbarian, you you will. Hold have on. to get to a certain level of achievement, my friend, and it will magically arrive. I Bestowed still... upon okay. you. I would just like to. I would just like to point people. out. Okay, do your Dalikas have Make the Dalika Make logo me. on the bottom? Make yeah. Me this me one me. does not. Oh, okay. your bill real fast, I just please. looked it up. Actual hey. Dalikas have the logo on the bottom. <laughs> this one does not have the My Dalika beauty. logo, and it is a different shape. I can okay. even pull up the Reddit post. That is that is a fake. That's a that is a fake Dalika. Okay, oh, sir, good sir. Make so, me. stop hating on me. I just want to point <laughs> this out. It is a fake Dalika. It does not have the logo, and the shape is wrong. It's more pronounced here at the bottom. Make me big, damn it. Okay. Please. please. So, please. Before you start hating on me, Pretty this please. isn't real. Thank you. Yes. See, See his has the logo. This does Look. not have the logo. Does it? No. No logo there, people. No okay. logo. No logo. No logo. <laughs> yeah, even pull up the Reddit post of them. It's not even the same knife, people. Stop hating. <laughs> it's the same knife. You just don't realize it's the same okay, knife. Okay, I'm going to... Can I Can I present a different screen now? Yeah. So I can yeah show you, this. Which, yeah. No, it's definitely not. It doesn't have the eagle on the handle. Here, so, so stop sharing. Screen. Share screen. And then let's select... Where's Reddit? Come on. Oh, my Marco's Pizza is almost here. Yes. Ooh. I think it's this screen. Yes, okay. Okay, look at this. Okay? You see, it comes bellied and then up. This one does not belly and then up. It's way too straight. Careful with that one. See it? Yeah, don't mess with the, it? Or the fake ones, man. See it? Get the other room. one You're is like... fake. It's fake. Okay, so fair. Fake Dalikas get get a, a four. So, no hating. I will Real test out a Dalika if I ever get the chance to. This Real one is a fake Dalika. Real Dalikas get 20s on a scale of 1 to 10. 
<laughs> yes. Firefighters use the jaws of life because they aren't worthy of the Dalaka. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. The hey, only thing Chuck Morris can do is kick. I know, uh, I know Luke is jealous of this one. <laughs> Ooh. I was going to say, that's a nice protect. Nice. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the operator yeah. version. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this thing is fucking huge. For maybe person with baby hands. <laughs> hey, I wear a sword. A, a sarge. I wear a sword. A size large fucking mechanics glove. I do too, okay, and I have baby hands. All right, just admit it and own up to it. Well, it's not <laughs> God, look at Sharif's yeah. mitts. Do you see those things? They're like a bear. Oh, I know. Look at that, okay? We have baby hands in comparison. <laughs> look at Luke's hands. Luke has, again, Luke bear has mitts. Hands, okay? Luke, I have uh, what? Hold up, bear mitts, oh. like Sharif. You got some bear mitts on there. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have baby hands. <laughs> All right. So to continue moving on, because yeah. we're we're still at like the top half of the list. Yeah. Uh, this night, horse dirt got a seven and a half. Um, and then we moved on to that something obscene. Um, I super struggled getting that thing open. Uh, that one also got a seven and a half. Um, if you can, if you can backflip it, it's fantastic. Um, keep going. Cause now we're catching or now we're getting on to, uh, some new stuff. Yeah. Uh, Greg grabbed out a, oh, no, we went too, too far. Greg grabbed out a honey badger, a small okay. one. Yes. Um, that one got a little bit higher actually and rated at an eight. Uh, the reason for it was because it snapped open every single time. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it wouldn't, there wasn't like I had to finish it off or anything like that. It just, it completely <laughs> snapped open. I'm, I'm not good at finishing off, okay? <laughs> Don't have much experience. <laughs> we knew that with the race car bed. Race, yeah, you got that right, buddy. Hey, but that gets the bitches. I just ain't good at finishing. <laughs> um so then the next time we tested here was a marbles uh big eye is what this one's is this one's called so you see it's got that big pivot point g10 yeah. handles uh that one rated a seven so a little bit below the night horse dirks um it just it didn't feel as smooth in my opinion just wasn't wasn't a huge fan of it um next one going on to is going to be a wee knife i don't know the name of this one Oh, that's like a rocket or something? Just Yeah, that it. sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, this one was super nice. I actually really, really like this one, and it got the highest rating so far of an 8.5. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, open super smoothly. I could spidey flick it. I could open it with my thumb. Um, the only thing I couldn't do was use the channel opener. Okay. I just – it wouldn't work for me, but Greg did it no problem. So it, it just depends on for you. Yeah. So it's got like a cleaver looking si like like sized blade. Mm hmm And it's a premium knife. So Yeah. It's it's probably what S S thirty at least minimum. Uh no, I think those are M three ninety, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But so that one that one did pretty well. Uh and that one actually held the top spot um for a little bit here. So moving on, uh, we tried out a Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Okay. Um, one of their new ones. Three and a half. Perfect for your small hands. <laughs> I actually struggled with this one, not going to lie. Um, really? I only gave this one a eight. Yep. It's still smooth because it's a, it's a bug out. Um, but I just, yeah, it was too small. If, if I had a full-size bug out, obviously I'd, it'd be a different story, but... Yeah, no, wasn't a big fan of it. That's really interesting. Oh, by the way, Luke, the Roxy is in S35. And uh, Drew, I find that very interesting because, like, like I love the bug out, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, I hate any of the bigger size uh, Benchmates because, like, the action, like, I've got a crooked river right here. 
Yeah. The action gets like lazy. Like it, it it's I can almost fail. I it. De- I do agree with you on that. Yes. You know? Now so, like I'm, on the new bug outs, the, the only ones I've ever tested are new ones. Yeah. So I that I guess I don't have that that long use case where they get lazy on them. But that's why I'm surprised the mini one was didn't score higher because like generally the smaller they get and the lighter the blade the like snappier they get. it was just a matter if i couldn't get the right angle on the yeah, thumb stud positioning oh, to okay. flick it open it was just too too small for the grip that i do for my thumb stud open gotcha. oh, that was like, really oh, that really was it gotcha. what'd you say i said or your wife drops it on the beach while she was trying to take edc photos <laughs> mm. gets everywhere. All in it. That's a fun disassembly. Or you just send it back to Benchmade and they do it all themselves. Uh, um, that would have been a good video, but no, I, uh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, so um, this was, what'd you say? What was the number on the, the mini? Eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Eight. Eight on the mini. Um, Still bad, though. No, no. And a lot of these, like, they're going to be the close to the same rating, right? Uh, so just coming up, so you guys know, we're we're staying in close to the same rating. Okay. Yeah. Um, we already got past the worst of them. So that one was the S30V. So this one here is a concept. Uh, mm-hmm. This is from Greg's personal collection. Yes, I remember that one. I really like this one. Uh, my only problem with it was I couldn't do the thumb hole with a flick. It had to be a full actuation. Yeah. Um, and so that got rated the same as the bug out because it was still equally as smooth, but yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you're, you're, you couldn't do it like with your thumb. It wouldn't flick for me. No. Forward. Okay. No, no, exactly. And, and that's what I'm saying is like, so all of these are just my opinion and how I use them. It may mm-hmm. be a completely different story for you guys. No, but I can see that because the way the shape of the hole, right? Like if you look at, for example, designs by Voxnaze and it's partially why I like if you saw the prototype of this Mm -hmm. versus the final production, I enlarged that area because it allows you to do like a traditional thumb flick. When you taper it back like that, it looks cool, but it reduces room for the pad of your thumb to get in there. Yeah. Vaknes does the same thing. Mm. You do a teardrop where the open, like the, the radius of the circle towards the, the, uh, towards the scales is much larger. So you can really, you can get, get in there. It. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the thing is I couldn't get in there. Right. Yeah. It was, it was the same thing with the bug out is it felt super smooth but I couldn't open it well, so it got the same rating. Yeah, I, I was going to point that out, too, at the end of the video, uh, tactical, tactical Terry, that the certain knives have certain levels of resistance due to the locking mechanism. Yeah. Yep. When people refer to crossbar locks having a detent, that what Luke said is what they're referring to. It's not. It doesn't have an actual breaking detent. It's more of a level of resistance and it's funny because i'm about to do a video where i actually talk about that and i have like a range of different knives and approaches mm-hmm. to kind of discuss that about so uh nice. are, okay so this one you said again was a seven or an eight an eight on this one it tied with the bug out the mini bug out uh, so moving on we have the hogue deca uh, this one actually surprised me because I was thinking it'd be a lot smoother than it was. Mm-hmm. Um, it was pretty stiff. Um, uh, this one actually tied with like the night horse and stuff like that, but I almost want to give it like a seven instead of a seven and a half. Oh, um, it just, it wasn't as smooth, honestly. That's surprising. Yeah. And, and again, Greg pointed this out in the video, which unfortunately won't play audio loud enough um that all the ones again i want to point this out because he pointed out multiple times all the ones that i tested and rated the highest were already broken in knives from greg's personal collection 
Mm -hmm. They were not brand new knives. So they had already been well maintained. They had been taken care of. They'd been used. They'd been broken in. Okay. All so this one was a brand new knife. If you get a if you get one and then wear it in, the it, it may improve, right? If you if you have good maintenance on it, or it will improve if if you keep good maintenance on it. Um, but this one got a seven and a or seven for me. I wrote seven and a half, but I'd really have to give it like a seven. Fair, fair. So, um, moving on. Next one we got. This one I really like. Oh, the Ocaso. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a good frame. There you go. Yeah. This is the Ocaso Solstice. Um, I actually talked to Rick uh, from Ocaso. He's a fantastic guy. Um, and this one did. This one felt great. This one got rated an eight and a half. Mm, uh, so I I really liked this one. Can Can I make a small plug, Sharif? Sure. What do you want to plug? So the solstice is actually going to be coming out in the next month or so in the CDC version. Sweet. He That'll just be got awesome. It today. So the teaser photo will go up tonight or tomorrow morning, depending when we get it. Cool. Heck That'll yeah, be so. super sweet. So it's a fire knife. I agree. Great. No, they, they're Great super day. smooth, super nice. A nice gentleman's carry. I, I really like those things. Um, so that one rated really high. That one's actually, um, for me overall, because some of them have the same rating, but I felt a little bit better about one or the other. That one's actually my third place pick overall. Okay. So just, just so you guys know, that one did a really, really good job. Uh, next one coming up, we got a Spartan Blades. Yes. Um, Parsi Gang. Yeah, this one honestly surprised me with it's ranking um so it's a 550 dollar knife so was that the four inch or the three and a quarter inch one i don't know that's a greg question well it was, <laughs> if it was the four inch you'd know because okay it's a huge knife like, oh god no it wasn't that big okay gonna be honest um so this one i wasn't a fan of it was pretty stiff it mm. wouldn't close very easily i gave it a six was it a new one? That yes. Now, this one was a brand new knife. Yeah. Now, again, brand new. Uh, on the ones that Greg brings to me, uh, I will tell you they're from Greg's personal collection. Okay. Um, yeah. But if I don't say anything, they're just brand new um, so at that point. I can definitely I, – I know why that's like that then because – and this is true with the DECA that you, you experience that is also brand new. Phosphor bronze washer knives like these. Yeah, they take time to break in. They need a break in. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. I know some knives do need that. And so like that's what Greg like kept reminding in the video. Like, this is a new knife. Yeah. These other ones they're used. I've broken them in. I use my knives. So yeah. um if I handed you my like either of my Harseys, the both are broken in, they've got like good lube in them, all of that stuff. Yeah, that number would go up considerably. Yeah, and and that's completely fair. And I'm willing to like retry stuff and you know use yeah. knives. Yeah. But when it I comes to new, I get it. Unfortunately, gotta out give it that box. rating. That's a fair rating, though. Yep, box out of the box. It's rating. Yeah. Um, next one I tried out was um actually going. This one's going to our customs guy. If you guys have ever bought any of the yeah. SMKW custom scale stuff or any of that. Uh, his name's Dylan. This one's his personal knife that he's uh, he's bought. Just got it. Brand new. So this is the MSI Ramlock Manual. Yeah. Um, I actually really liked this knife, surprisingly. Okay. Uh, That's one I've been wanting to try. I really yeah. liked And the price range on it, dude, it is fantastic. Interesting. It's like a buck seventy. Okay. For an all-American made knife. It's, it's M390 steel. I really liked it. Um, that one I gave an eight. It's a little bit below that Acaso, um, but it's still butter smooth. I re like to close to open. It's it's really nice. That, hey, if you, <laughs> how did what did you think of the the strength of the the detent? Because I've heard that they're they're mushy. But on what? On the MSIs here. It locked as secure as any other knife. But the the amount of force you needed to open. Oh, it. nothing. No, yeah, the detent is what you I mean, need to open. It it wasn't it wasn't mushy, 
it felt firm, but it didn't take a lot of force. Okay. Okay. If if that makes sense, like yeah, it, it was it was still solid when it locked in place. Yeah. But it did. I didn't have to like wrench it in there or like get a, a secondary rotation to try and get it in that detent. Yeah. I, it yeah. just it would I could back flick it or I could um do it with my thumb and it'd work. So I actually I actually really like those. That's that's interesting because I really I've been so that that's something I'm particularly sensitive about. Like I mentioned, you know, you have this issue with like the bench mates when you start going up in blade size. Yeah. They get really lazy versus like this is one of the best. Actually, this is a giant mouse Nazca, mm -hmm. but it's made by Best Tech, and it's got this just like snappy, crisp. Kind and that's of what I was looking for. That was like yeah. my number one is snappy, and yeah. and yeah. Uh, that that's really like kind of was the main goal. Um, okay. Have you messed with the yippers? I have not m messed with the yippers. Bro, that one is nice. It's for insane. For me, right now, my gold standard, actually, for this kind of style of crossbar-ish locking mechanism is actually the Pyrotech Kraken. But it's because they use a uh, piano wire for the yep. spring. And, like, dude, it's there's no way to fail it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, now, what Urban Woodsman is saying is that when he first experienced the the action at blade show last year it was mushy but apparently they heard that feedback and they heard... did do an update to it yes okay. um they they did address that issue especially on the new manuals um the 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 manuals are a new release for this year um so unless you tested out like one of their prototypes coming up yeah. um you, you would have tested out either like an assisted or an automatic so that's exciting because i love myself the the stitch it's one of my favorite knives of all yep. time. but this is ridiculously illegal to carry in california because it's sharp and stabby and the size and yeah. the automatic so, see i'm telling you again that's why i need to move to tennessee buddy yeah dude i you need to come over here it's a place to be texas no it's too hot. North Kakalaki, come on. North Carolina's okay, too. Why do you want to live in the north? Just move to Texas. You'll be in the south. I am in the south. <laughs> not you, Drew. The other Drew. Well, He's it's in not North the... Carolina. Eh, it says the north, north in the name. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Moving yeah. on really quick. The next one surprised me. Um, going to be honest. I really, really like this next one. Uh, everybody does, dude. This one Elementum. was really, really nice. Um, I rated an eight and a half. It was super smooth, super snappy. Um, it's up there. It tied with the Akaso of like feel. I liked this one a lot. So I was, I would be willing to bet. Okay, now that I know the Elementum was in the mix, I don't don't ruin it obviously mm -hmm. but this may this may be top three if not top two no really the Acaso still beats it out in my opinion okay fair, fair. Yep. this one actually ranks um below one that we're coming up on oh shit. and it's and it was i was i was impressed because i own one of them like one of that brand right yeah. and i actually liked it but the unfortunate thing is i'm just going to forewarn you you will not ever be able to buy it it was a prototype test knife and that's it it's like one of three and Thanks. they're all ours so well, you won't ever be able to are harder are, are usually not as good as the production well yeah. i'm saying we we even passed we didn't do production on them nothing like this is this was just hey let's see the knife because it's a rough rider coming up mm -hmm. um we just tested them um we didn't even we were they're not going into production so you won't yeah. be able to buy this one unfortunately but greg wanted to throw it in there as like a tease yeah. so um, <laughs> elementum didn't score higher the the elementum is one of the like with the bug out yeah like one of the most i i don't own one 
but it is one of the most popular knives full stop oh 100 percent, and it felt fantastic yeah. i just preferred how that acaso felt mm. honestly that I, I mean and it was close right i mean they both got an eight and a half but yeah that one it's it just didn't beat it out interesting okay, um so the next one coming up if i can get it good frame there we go so this actually isn't blue it's dark purple it's just how it picked it up uh another civivi but Mi i think this was the mini banter yeah the baby banter a baby banter um yeah. this one did really well as well but i it was a little bit too small um so i struggled initially with it um but it got an eight for smoothness so yeah. just below yeah. that elementum um i did really like it though i i would seriously consider buying one and it, that one sits at like the 60 dollar price range so not bad for for a tiny little knife also a very popular model yep yep i know we sell a bunch of these in in store as well yeah um next one coming up this one is the really impressive one in my opinion <laughs> but um space <laughs> right space goes <laughs> this one is greg's dad's knife who has since passed away that he got for 79 cents because they bought him in a big lot of like a thousand wow Dang. so this knife was 79 cents and oh my gosh i can tell you the right amount of maintenance on a knife is all the difference this thing rated an eight wow it was so nice to use and handle he used it as a kitchen knife at the like what volunteer missions i some random brand it seriously was like a nothing brand and like th it rated fantastically this one did a great job that so. really i before you said the history and like the provenance of it i was gonna slay it for having you know like tip down carry but then i was like oh it's his it's know, his dad's knife dude it's, it's his yep. dad's knife I, I can't be mean about it That's no it. and but really it was so smooth and just for the opening and like yes it's a lockback i couldn't tell you it was a lockback dude i i have seen lockbacks be incredibly smooth when they're yes broken in yeah yep. and that thing was it was so nice to use seriously yeah. i it, it really that was the biggest curveball but it was the most impressive for what it was yeah truly um next one coming up you guys may know this one you probably will know it yep already if i can get a good frame of it oh, oh we just yeah. passed a good frame zt gang there you go the 308 yes 308 tiger stripe um this one did extremely well of course i really like this one and even so much i may contemplate buying one as my yes. most expensive knife outside. yeah this one rated a nine yes roll that's what roll number is it uh -huh. rule number nine baby what roll number is it drew i don't know rule number nine I don't it's know. rule number nine gibbs okay so this the yeah that's what that's what is it so gibbs right yep that's what that's what greg told me because he asked me do you know why they went with that style yeah. Do you know what my answer was on it? What? Because I don't watch TV or it's anything like that. Balance. Yeah. My answer was I thought it was I would have guessed it's like a paint scheme on a World War II battleship. Not a bad shot. Like I think it looks like it. I don't know. Like you're charging into like the Pacific Theater and you got that yeah. badass paint job on it. I think it's very cool. So, uh, just to give you a little bit of background, there's a show called NCIS. Yep basically popular it's with really like good geriatrics right but the main character gibbs is such a badass and he popularized an older zt model by it, he had a rule he it, he's famous for having like all of these rules that like guide all of his life rule number nine is always carry a knife and he always carried that Z that particular ZT that had the tiger stripe pattern. It was a Ken Onion design knife. So when Man. they did the, the, the 0308 here and they wanted to kind of like refer back to that like OG Ken Onion design, they brought back the tiger stripe pattern. Now, Greg, go ahead. 
And they, they they did do some filming in Tennessee and had to pick one up from Smoky Mountain Knifeworks to yeah. do the show with. That's kind of cool. See, Greg didn't even tell me that. I believe actually in the later, yeah. like the more recent episodes, this is the knife that he is now carrying. The characters, sweet, like, carrying. And you can go pick one up in store. Yeah, head Would on you, over. This is on my bucket list of, of knives. This Dang. is seriously like on a on a t on yes. a list for me to buy now. Yeah. I really like this knife. It's, um, what is that butter one smooth. It's it's like two seventy. Yeah. Um, butter smooth. Um. I mean, for especially a big knife like i barely had to apply pressure to the to the flipper and yeah. it was fully open yeah. awesome and greg actually said uh and you brought it up to the their 375 okay sorry 375 my bad yeah I don't um, know greg actually brought up to the zt guy one time of you see where the the hole is or right the the pivot yeah turning that into a crossbar type lock because you already have the hole milled and channeled you could turn it into a crossbar. It so. could, but ZT has never done anything. No, yeah. for sure not. No, but I think it'd be kind of a cool concept to, yeah. to, to try. Um, next one coming up. This was uh, the Rough Rider I was telling you guys about. If we can get over there. Shove this one off for a minute. Oh, I'm such a ZT fan. Always. Oh, no, I skipped. Uh, I already skipped the Rough Rider. Where's the Rough Rider? Hello? Where are you at? There you are. So this one here is one that won't be coming out. Um, it has the same design as we did with the Rough Rider Tadpole. Uh, if you guys have ever seen that. So same same scales and everything like that. Yeah. This actually did really well. Um, this was like my fifth or sixth on the list, but it's an eight and a half. Um, so still super smooth. It's still ranked above like the Honey Badger or like the Ramlock in my opinion. I think I felt more like I like the flippers more. Um, was what it ended up being. Um, but this one actually felt really nice. Okay. Uh, moving on. I've got an alarm set. We got a really cool one. If we can get a good... Uh, there you go. Oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Come on. Is that Try. an Adam Purvis design? Nope. No, that's not. Uh, Any idea? We know that knife. Why can't I remember the name? Take take some guesses, people. What do we think? Dang it. I know the studs. Brian Brown design. Yes, yes you got yeah, that yeah. right. Good yep. job, Mallory and Tactical. Yeah. Dang. Um, I knew I recognized that knife. Uh, this one was a new one. Mm -hmm. Um. It, it was really a solid knife. I really, truly liked it. I think if it was broken in more, I would have liked it even more. Yeah. Um, thumb stud was really clean on opening it. It would flip open real nice. Uh, it'd flick. It was, I, I really liked it. I gave that one an eight out of them all. So that one was a super solid. Nice. Uh, next one coming up. If I can find it. This was my <laughs> little Hanson. Hanson Tonto. Yeah. Love that thing. I gave it a four. I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that one yeah. got an eight and a half. Um, unbiased opinion. I really like the opening on that thing. Super, super flicky. You can just sit there and play with it. Okay. That one, that one got a solid score. Um, hey. What's up? You just sit there and play with it. Yeah, come on. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, next one coming up is a Medford design. This was the eleven hundred dollar knife. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, um, and Greg didn't tell me this until after I hit it into the box already once and into the carpet. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, needless to say, after that, I held it in two hands and babied it. Uh, <laughs> um, this one, gonna be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of. Fair. I I I gave it a six and a half. I, I just I didn't yeah. like it. I, I, I don't know. It, it may have been because it wasn't broken in. It's because it's a Medford. But I, I just, me personally, I, I wasn't digging it. Wasn't digging it. Um, Medfords, you know, the people who like Medfords are like the people who like Emerson's. It's a hard to justify opinion. They just like what they like. You yeah, know? exactly. And with right. Medford is, one thing I got to point out is they are really built like a tank. 
I mean, the yeah. thickness of the scales and the thickness of the blade and every bit of hardware in it, they're really, like, they're insane with how much material you get. Or yeah. material you get. It weighs at least a pound, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a, it's, it's a monster. It's huge in every way, shape, and form. Runs on seven. I, I felt like I found Dad's <laughs> pocket knife as a little kid and was trying to use it. Runs on seven washers, 100% that thing does. <laughs> there's only one medford i want and that's the m48 and that's only because of the knife being designed after Patton. like the well, thing. that's fair that's fair and that's the only reason why skip ahead here all right so then i tried out a salem there i believe go. right is that salem no trash absolute garbage Am I, am I wrong saying I am I am I right with it's a Salem? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I thought so because Greg didn't know this was the one you gifted to him, and he had he has never looked it up. He has never tried to find the price because he didn't want to diminish the gift you guys gave him. So he just wanted to say thank you again for uh, the knife. So this one I also gave an eight and a half. Super snappy, super fun. I like that one a lot. Um, going in. Now this a, next uh, one was is that a the Trident EDC lanyard. Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know. He didn't tell me the EDC or the the lantern or the lanyard. It looks well, like it's a Trident. Is yeah. it a Trident EDC? Okay. Yeah. Um. Now this next one. This is the last one, and I really like this one. <laughs> Do you see what it is? Yep. Brian, Brian's going to love you for this. That is the Vosteed Mini Mini Nightshade. Yep. The one that Luke doesn't like. I freaking love this knife. Now, the reason this one is last is this was the knife Greg was using to open all the other boxes, okay? It got the highest rating out of them all. Oh, yeah. Yay. It got a nine and a half out of them all it just barely beat out that zt dude it is so 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 nice dude i really like that thing <laughs> space ghost i'm sorry i hope you th i hope you swallow it and it burns <laughs> wow <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow hey Yay. you gotta test it out man it, it look at that look it's a thumb stud and it just flicks instantly open with like no force it drops really down nice. no force it is such a smooth knife that was the only thumb stud that completely flicked open and i required like no force and when i would go to close it is it would instantly close i wouldn't have to like you know jiggle it or anything like that what was that again I wouldn't have to do more than two shakes. I didn't. I didn't have to play with it at all. I'm looking forward to it, Brian. Look, so, I like, I like the knife. I just think it's not as attractive as some of their other knives. That's fair, yeah. but its opening is definitely fantastic. So, just so you know, Drew, I I have a, a historically rocky relationship. Let's call it. With Vosti. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. No, no. So I, I'm very, very honest about my reviews. Like, yeah, that's fair. Like, so I, I come from an industrial design background, right? When we critique, we critique very hard, right? Because realistically, when you're working for corporations, like mm, tens, if not hundreds of million dollar deals, does like revolve around being like, hypercritical and making oh 100 percent yep right so i i gave voss two the only two voss deeds i ever handled like a true design critique uh let's just say i got death threats after my reviews man like, you got to get one of these in hand i'm telling you so i'm telling you that is that is brian's perspective and i'm open to it i have no problem no like ill will to the company right yeah you're just going to be honest with your reviews exactly that, like, i mean you shouldn't have to change your reviews because other people say mm. exactly it's his but, opinion leave him alone 
Yeah, Brian. <laughs> Brian's got. I love Brian. Brian's a great guy. He he's offered to pack me up a, a number of his Vostid collection, so I can go through Sweet. and we and, and test, test them out. Them. Truly, yeah. Get get a a more full rounded perspective yeah. between yeah. him and Samwise. They have so, just another. I'm very excited. Yeah. yeah. So, as a as a overall consensus as to what won, um, inexpensive won barely over zt which was the expensive okay uh, right. how much is that model right there that one is a hundred dollars okay 99 99 not, bucks in my book in my book that's not really inexpensive it's a mid-tier in my mm, book no it's under 100 it's bucks inexpensive with your taxes it was 100 bucks okay so out of the best <laughs> inexpensive um would probably be that rough rider then okay fair that i tested if if you want to go with super inexpensive right. like 20 30 dollar knife it's it's that one there nice. yep but under under the hundred dollars i think is budget territory like you said tactical yeah. and i that's like an inexpensive knife in my yeah, I opinion would say, i would say sub hundred is yep and it runs in really at 99 bucks so I, I really like that one, and I'm really contemplating picking one up myself. I, I probably will next yeah. paycheck. Not gonna lie. Nice, nice, dude. So. And that's that's a real to me. Also, that is a fascinating sort of win. Also, for the more expensive knives, because yeah, 100. Like I was really impressed with the ZT and the Akasos. Like they really were a solid knife. And that ZT is almost four hundred dollars. It's yeah. three hundred and seventy-six at Smoky Mountain. Yep. Know? Yeah. So like that that's a no no joke price point. Mm -hmm. No, that's definitely an expensive knife. Yeah. I mean, you have to save up some money and like say I want to buy that knife. You can't just I mean, most people I should say can't just go yeah. into the store and be like, I want that knife and yeah. then pick up another three. <laughs> There are some nuts people like that, but yeah. The, the biggest order I've ever had was thirteen thousand dollars. What? All case knives. No shit. What? All case knives. I was going to assume Microtech. <laughs> case. Jeez. All case knives. And they were all like the traditional, so the seventy to a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's yep. that's interesting. Yep. And this that was is. this was with the uh, the dealer discount that we offer at SMKW. Were 30. they like a corporation or was this an individual? Two, two guys that sell them out of their store back in like Georgia or something. And it's a small little store. Dang. It's two guys that run the okay. business. Dang. That that makes more sense to but, me. But that still $13,000 worth of case knives? Only case. They didn't pick up any of the inexpensives that they could easy sell. Nothing. Nope. Case. Jeez. <laughs> so it was really like, it was crazy. Yeah. Dude. I I don't know what the second word in Terry's comment. I don't. I daily four to five hundred dollar yeah. knives, so sixty oh, okay, to okay. one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say fifty and under ultra budget. And yeah, then, agreed. And then sixty to one fifty is is budget to yeah. mid tier, and then I would say probably two to two to three fifty is premium and then anything about that is ultra premium yeah, yeah. kind of how i divide my... yeah i'm in the same boat no so, that's that's kind of the same for me yeah i am you have no idea for me how pleased i am a modern zt ended up on this <laughs> it really right? did great i seriously like the only three right <laughs> from those that i would go out and buy right now just my personal opinion is that Vostid mm -hmm. is number one on the list. That second is that ZT. And third is that Akaso. I mean, I really liked that Solstice Akaso. Yeah, the Solstice is... Well, so just wait till ours come out. Uh, well, that's what I'm kind of going to do now. Got to get one. So, Gosh. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm so like excited about that. Because like, for me personally, I love American-made knives. I do. Yeah. Like, while Spyderco is probably the current king in my book, you know, 
um, or in terms of just their experimentation with blade steels, their consistency, their range. I personally don't care for their designs all that much, mm -hmm. right? ZT has been the company that I have been dying, and I even did a video about it a while ago of like, dude, ZT needs to come back with some force because they have historically made excellent knives. And if it can take somebody like you, who was previously not exposed, you know, yep. and for you to handle it right away and say, holy geez, like... It's nice. It seriously yeah. is a solid knife. Like, hats off to, um, trying to th what's, the Kai. Yeah. Hats off to Kai. I mean, yeah. and, and the, the production for ZT. It was a fantastic knife, because the only other one I've ever felt is the really tiny one that we oh, shipwrecked, right, yeah. if you guys have ever seen that custom one. It was still really nice, but it was an assisted opener. It wasn't a manual. And for a manual opener, oh my gosh. Amen, Palmer. Hold on. Let me, let me yeah. zoom in real quick. Let me zoom in right quick. Hey, Palmer. Right there. Everybody. <laughs> well, you know you have a wrong opinion when, when Sharif flips you off. Hey, so I don't know if y'all have anything budget, and by budget, I mean $100 uh, nearby. That's but all of my knives. I what do you want? I <laughs> my five favorite sub $100, and I think all of these are actually sub $70, I think. Okay. Uh, my top five. Sharif, do you have anything? Do you have, do you have some inexpensive knives under 100 bucks? Oh, I do. They're they're very few and far between now because I just have given them away, you know. Yeah. Um, well, you want me to go over mine and you go grab five? Uh, yeah, I guess I can. Sure. Uh, While you go I'm over yours, to... I'll be right back. Okay. I, so... I hate to be this way because, like, okay, technically with a discount like this is under a hundred dollars but the the og price is 109 would this would you would you count this in that that list yeah, yeah. okay uh, okay that's, that's one of mine i couldn't remember on this one i thought the growler was uh sub 100. <laughs> so that's one all right and i'm excluding all cdc knives of course excluding all of those oh um, so i have to exclude my own my own knives yeah i don't I'm, think that's a fair i don't think that's fair then i'm just really say whatever you like <laughs> well i say what you like i am excluding the hansen okay the hansen is my favorite like i've gotten rid of most of my yes. budget knives minus yeah. my hansen yes. okay but, well, well how about we just assume that the hansen is in there Yes, because I, dude, if I if I don't include my budget knives, I really don't have a lot of hundred dollar below knives. Yeah, I, I'm good. down to to probably less than ten myself. Um, this is one of them, the SOG Stout FLK. Okay, a poor man's uh, Rosie, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it looks so much like the Rosie. It really does. Uh, Cryo D2, still frame lock, D10 show side. But, I mean, tell me that doesn't look like a Rosie. It does. It, it does. looks a hell of a lot like the Rosie. It is a uh, Nickel Williamson design. Whoever that is. You get a thumb hole and a flipper. So, uh, Another one. Yeah, so thank you because I was gonna pull mine out, dude. But... Literally, what's that? I one? have flicked this thing so many fucking times that and is... it is rock fucking solid, Drew. Like, that's I... one of my budget knife designs. Rock. Okay, rock fucking solid, bro. Yeah, rock fucking solid. And with that Kubi cell and all the D two stuff, bro, yeah. Um, you can't go wrong with the pyrite. Oh, that's nice, and it's, it's like it. forty dollars, Drew. Oh, that's like, a good that's a good price for it too. Like the pyrite is just so fucking smooth, bro. 
I'm gonna have, do you still sell them? Uh, I don't personally sell them. Kubi sells them. Kubi does? Kubi designs? Yeah. Kubi knives. Kubi knives. K U B I? K U B Y? K U B E Y. E Y Q. Yeah, I see it there. Go to knifeglobal.com. Uh, that's... No, don't use those fuckers. No, I'm just Knife, <laughs> Knife Global is Kubi. But... Oh, fuck. Knifeglobal.com. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Because I was going to say, I found Kubi's knives. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. And what's that one called? Sorry, oh, looking it up. Shit. Momentum. I forgot. Oh. Me too. What? I'm so tired. I was like, my bad. Whoops. What yeah, this goes like, hey, did y'all fucking sell out already? <laughs> no, we just forgot to post them. Yeah. We're, we had a drop at six o'clock and we forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we then the uh, the Tidious. Okay. The Sharif. Tidious. There's a knife that's on my on my you, to do B. list Thank one you, day, yeah. and now's the perfect time to get it. And I think that would be on my list, but yeah. I just I don't have it right now. But that is on my list. I think that would yeah. probably that's be a good price too on that. One of the best knives out there. Just to let you know, Drew, that's like eighty dollars off right now. Oh, no, I see that. Yeah, no, yeah. that's a good deal. Yeah, I'm, that's Sharif's design. Yeah. yeah. So that's like, super cool. Yeah. Trust me, I know. I'm yeah. I'm debating whether or not I want to pick up another one or There's two. What's the hell? Only six left, and I'm like, ah, I want to get it so bad. Yeah. Well, so. hey, we might be able to after that SMKW order. Hey, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it, dude. So six left. I I God, I, this is this Ugh. is gonna be so douchey for me. <laughs> like, I. So I don't like promoting my own shit. I never have, you know. But my top five budget knives, all like, Sharif designs, three of them are. <laughs> yeah, well, you know that's the thing. It's okay. though. okay. That's okay. You made a knife you like, though. You designed it. To yeah, your exactly. That you that's like. Okay. That's why I like the Hanson so much. Man. I mean, Hanson is a solid knife. Honestly, I really like the Hanson. So I'm gonna have to pick have up some of Sharif stuff, because I mean, if, if you're not getting that uh, premium uh, uh, Grazioso, there are the budget ones that are like in brass and micarta, a little bit heavier. But I've seen the I don't know if they're still available, but I've seen them go on sale for as low as like 40, 50 bucks, which is awesome deal. And yeah. if you have big hands like mine. It's a 3.3 inch blade that still fits somebody with big hands. So uh, that's one. Drew already said the momentum. Uh, and then the other one of mine is the Ruckus, which is more of a <laughs> actual inspired knife design. And I, I actually use a Ruckus like almost every day. It's like my go-to kitchen knife. <laughs> uh, whenever I need a knife to just like open shit, I have my micarta one sitting in the kitchen. You know, yeah. Um, love, love this. Now for the ones that aren't my own, I definitely love the Devo knives Growler. Okay, one of my favorite smaller knives to like EDC because like I use it exclusively in the choke up grip you know, for, for my hands. And what I like about it is that the overall profile is very slim. So well, like, in the pocket, <laughs> it's very comfortable. Hey, can we, can we shameless plug right quick? Yeah. Okay. If you, if you're watching, <laughs> if you, want one, you better hurry. Yeah, you better fucking hurry. All right, that's all I gotta fucking say. All right, I'm gonna post. The, the so link. Tyler, the guy we we collaborated with on this on this drop, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he's like, bro, he's like, y'all need to list your shit because I've already sold out in less than a minute and people are blowing me yeah. up. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, dang. so we are oh, going fast eight? as fuck. Like, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, you if you want one you better grab one we literally just posted them like a minute and a half ago and we're down like 20 already like, dang it they're Love going it. fast as fuck so yeah we forgot to post them we're, we apologize we were having too much fun in here 
That's funny. I'm sorry, guys. Those are pretty sweet. Uh, dude, that that has literally been a what two and a half, three year, two and a half year project in, in wow. the making. Yeah, yeah. So hold on, real quick. I gotta order mine because I've wanted one of those. <laughs> and if they're going um, that quick, I uh, I definitely don't want to miss it. Because that so you're telling be, me I should buy one? Uh, uh, if, if, you have, you, if you have time. God damn it. <laughs> fine. I already had it in my cart anyways. That's yes, fine. yes. Well, no, we talked about that, Luke. Not a different color. There were two, right? Yeah, yeah I know, but people well, are like. You guys don't even take so PayPal. That sucks. Yeah, we do. Oh, they, they do take it PayPal. It doesn't let me. Well, I don't no, know. Why. There should be a thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. There well, it I'm is. We literally just paid with PayPal. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. It hey, literally just yeah, went uh, through. Brief, the Yippers, bro. Which I was one? really surprised. Okay. At the yippers. Um, Fair. I actually got the uh, the display. Because Ben came over and uh, I was like, hey, they said that y'all didn't have any more blue left. And you know how I'm about blue. And he was like, you can take the display. I don't care. So I literally walked up to walked okay. up the booth. And saw, so, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Uh, he used to work for Blade HQ. Um, the camera guy. Um, fuck, what is his name? No. Oh. Anyway, Ben's employee, one of Ben's employees. So wait, I just bought just, it. Like, slid him like cash. Yeah. I was like, Shh. and I walked over to the Yippers and took it off the display. <laughs> he was like, uh, what are you doing? And I was like, Shh. Ben said it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, dude, freaking uh, Magna Cut uh, produced by MKM. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's it's sick. Nice. The, um, somebody, I guess some people were having the issue. I don't know why. Because I can't get it to... Oh, I saw that where the, the blade was touching the stud. Yes. The and I, like, you literally have to press down. Like, press the blade down to get it to, to touch it. But oh. he, uh, MKM came out and said, hey, um, a quick fix for everybody that already has them, larger thumb studs. Okay. Yeah, That's fair. so ingenious. Like, yep. That is so ingenious. So they're sending everybody uh, that filled out the form thumb studs. It's ingenious and and, and an inexpensive fix for the company. Thank you, Mallory and Woodsman. Jamie, good lord, I could not think of his name (laughs) name for life. By the way, I just purchased uh, one of the patches. Heck yes. Had to. You put a note in your order for a Corgi sticker? No, I didn't. (laughs) No. I got you. And I'll actually remember because it's sitting right in front of me right (laughs) now. There you go. Dude, I felt so bad. I literally... So, Sean Bethel... Sean, if you're still watching. uh, (laughs) Sean literally orders so much. He has, like, hundreds of each sticker that we've ever done. Yep. Literally brought all of his extras back to Texas and put them in a Ziploc bag for us. And I had it sitting there, literally, on the table. And I was like, these are going to droop. These are going to droop. And then me and Luke walked away from the table for a minute and came all got given away. Ran out of stickers. <laughs> and so there was a sticker sitting on the table. So one of our wives or Brian or somebody just laid the stickers out. And I was That's like, funny. Damn it. <laughs> hey, you guys like, still hooked me up with some back. dope shit, though. So I, I definitely got to say thank you. As we get back, I, am, <laughs> I, I got this. Dude. That's funny. So, real quick, there was one last night on my top five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, like sorry. $100. No, no, no. I, I just, I'm, I'm handling it, and it just, it technically breaks the rule because it was 110 when it was available, and it's completely ridiculous, but the tactical. Yeah, rule. that's a pretty cool one. I've handled one but, of those. Yeah. yeah. I love this thing. I've actually carried it. <laughs> It's it's a ridiculous knife. It's pretty sick. Yeah, what's up, Renee? 
what I, I got to say. I have to put notes in my orders on which stickers not to put in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. So it's I was like, like, I don't have this one yet. Give me this have, one. You know, there's like a few that are like, stickers, please, stickers, please. Because they'll, they'll throw them on everything that they possibly can. Yeah. And, uh, and Sean's, like, all of his order notes say, no stickers, no stickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, real quick, because we're we're getting towards the end here. Uh, I This is not affiliated with any of us here, but <laughs> I really want to show some support to a guy whose designs that I'm really loving right now. Uh, Brian knows because we were talking about it at like, I don't know, freaking one or two o'clock in the morning. One of those discussions. <laughs> yeah. So there's a crazy, crazy maker by the name of uh, Task Knives. And I can't remember if he's based out of like Russia or somewhere like that. He was at Blade Show, Texas. Oh. And he has the most crazy, like apocalyptic style with the most insane grinds you've ever Those seen. straight up look like that straight up looks like a video game knife yeah that's sick. like that's pretty cool not gonna lie dude and his his finishes everything <laughs> oh that's kind of sick are Ooh. just awesome I, i've become oh, obsessed oh, with yeah, that. Okay. like not gonna lie right so that's actually really cool he teamed up with a knife company that I've never heard of before called Trevisa. And he just actually released like his first like production folder. Those aren't that bad priced either. No, the price also when you see the specs. Is... I've heard of Trevisa though, by the way. They, okay. they're, they're a pretty big company. Dude, so between 82 and 95 dollars which is again in the sub hundred dollar price point like we were just talking about yep even if you go with the baller one with carbon fiber and all of this stuff here's the the takeaway from me right overall length basically 9.7 inches Jeez. right wow it's a 4.3 inch blade and it's all 14C that is 17 hundredths thick. Damn. Yeah. Chunky like, boy. Big, thick. That's a cool. Boy. And it's it a has cool knife, a, though. A hollow grind, reinforced tip. This is a Sharif knife, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. And, like, dude, I am completely in love. I, dude, I ordered mine six minutes after they made the announcement that these. <laughs> She's like, I'm getting this one. It's oh, mine. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, I'm almost to the point where, like, okay, I ordered the, the all black carbon fiber one. I'm debating ordering one of these orange ones to just. <laughs> orange is kind of sick. Oh, that was the one I was eyeballing. Dude. It's titanium, too. Wow. Yeah, I'm genuinely thinking of getting one of these just to. Beat the ever living piss out of. Oh, 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 oh God! Yeah. I'm sure Luke is muted right now because he's he's coming all over himself. Oh, <laughs> bro, what the the patches? No, no. Oh, yeah, but this is oh my God! Yeah, dude. Hold, hold on, I'm gonna have to airdrop this to my Mac and show these. <laughs> <laughs> but bro if you guys are looking for a like i'm a huge fan of a, this guy and it's crazy oh dude mallory i'm so jealous i really want a custom intruder like horribly bad dude like Luke. I, I think task is one of the the coolest so there's there's two guys out of I, again I believe he's Russian no he's from Georgia Tasnais is from Georgia the other guy that I'm really into is uh, Kyongjin or Kyongin um, let me see yeah him right here he is this guy is also really amazing 
Um, oh, the country of Georgia. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The country. I just I just found out the other day that Georgia is also a country. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. These guys are doing. Do you know what country it borders? Amazing I have no Azerbaijan. Uh, wherever the fuck that is. Mm, yeah, it's between the Black and the Caspian Sea. Ooh, right? That's sick. That's, yeah, that's sexy. That is cool. Yeah. That's a different design too. I like yeah. that. Yeah, because it's almost like hawk billish. Yeah. Oh, it is. It hundred percent is. It's, it's kind of, but it's not like I'm saying. It's not like a super pronounced hawk bill, though. Yeah. Like yeah. it's it's pretty neat. So, do you want to see this this little knife's like bigger brother? Oh yeah. Okay. This is its bigger brother. Oh shit. <laughs> that is insane. It is, dude. It is. That is insane. Even more nuts in video than you would expect. Because look at this. The God, tip that's so even... big. Oh yes. my God. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see when that was posted? Sorry, that was posted December six, twenty twenty. Someone figured out what to do with their COVID time. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone got bored. <laughs> He made a small oh with CKF that I've been searching for for a long time. Mm. And that's like, not... look at that. That is insane. Yeah, bro. Straight up alien versus predator knife. That's what comes out of alien's arm. That's that's the, yeah. that's the blade. And wow. it's got it's got a crazy like backlock mechanism that like holds mm. it together and dude that's insane i'm so in love what sorry i had to take care of something yeah yeah he had to take care of changing his pants after rick sent those photos yeah just show the photos drew exactly. well i will as soon as Shreve gets done yeah i sent him to Shreve. no no I've, I've already got it up oh okay yeah it's it's I'm look at that thing luke right now you see that what? thing it's insane yeah, get yeah. your hands out of the way there of the back line. <laughs> uh, lose a finger. Lose a hand. Yeah. And what's yeah, that one, yeah. Christ. Dude, the Those Stanford is so sick. Is yeah. yeah. That just looks like it's a piece of art. Yeah. That is so cool. Why yeah. would you have... Why would you leave 36 inches of the tip dangling off the back? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have that much to, uh, to leave <laughs> off, so... I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that guy he he's had several releases <laughs> with uh, Custom Knife Factory or CKF. Those are cool. Uh, this is the smaller one. So okay, you can see like it's a more reasonable size, and the blade tip is actually like in the handle. Yeah, you know, but still, I like that the uh, sharp doesn't hang off the edge of the handle either. Yeah, I actually, put it in my pocket. Yeah. So it's, but it's just as evil as the bigger one, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, these two guys that I, I mentioned, this guy and uh, uh, Task are my my two current obsessions. They are <laughs> mm, chef's right. kiss of going. Are you, are you ready for this? Do are it. Are you ready? Do mm -hmm. it. I don't think y'all are ready. Do it. Do it. Nice. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Definitely picking one up now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for making me spend my money. Bro. <laughs> there it is. That is so fucking sexy. That is a so really, good. really nice. nice. And that's that's Anna. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. Yeah. That I have hurt. to get one now. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. gotta be a new carry for me. Dude, that is so nice. So good. God, it's so um, by the way, Barbarian Bronny, that post you made today was amazing. Just yes, top notch. Yes. Dude, can we can we just take a second and shout out Barbarian Bronny? Right. He what has been the post he made, dude. Dude, his posts are amazing. His yes. photography is 
off the charts. Yes. You know? like, yeah. Like, let's see. Uh, he is doing awesome shit, man. Like, everybody, if you're not following Barbarian Brawny on Instagram, I'm going to d- drop his link. And if you guys aren't following his YouTube channel, also, uh, I will drop a link. But, bro, like, like, look at this. Yeah. That's just mm. that looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Shameless plug. Three days left, and we're at sixty-nine percent funded. Get it up there, guys! Come on. Dude, and sixty-nine percent, bro. I mean, it's, at least it's a nice number. Sixty-nine percent. And he niced me on this too. Oh God, that is sexy. Dude, I actually asked cool. him for a copy of this photo because I'm I'm gonna get it printed and I'm gonna frame it. Frame yeah, one hundred percent. That looks really yeah. good. Yeah. Now I gotta ask: Do you is it actual smoke or is that um, yes. an overlay? Yeah, he no, actually smokes it. We we actually were talking about it, and it was a, a happy accident. Oh, sweet. Yeah, he he had a candle lit like nearby, and he blew it out, and the smoke like entered into the frame. And he just so, took the picture at the perfect time. Yeah, that's yeah. sweet. No, because so, that seriously looks like it was on purpose like he added an overlay and added smoke and stuff right? like that like that looks really good dude the guy is just killing it man yeah like, he is he's doing good good shit man so make sure you guys give him a follow like yeah for sure i'm gonna have to give he him a follow is here. he is up. incredible and on top of it he's like a genuinely nice guy you know and that's good so like unlike the name barbarians <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> and, and if i correct me if i'm wrong barbarian the the correct pronunciation of, of it is barbarian brawny or brown no yeah it's it's the german pronunciation uh but everybody says brawny but it should be like more brow me Brown, brownie, yeah, brownie. <laughs> get through the chopper. Yeah, I get that one. <laughs> My name is Barbarian Brownie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. But yeah, I can't. I can't wait to shake his hand at uh, at Blade Show, and- Atlanta. Yeah, tell him like, bro, like how how grateful I am in person, you know. But alrighty, dudes, let's wind it down. Uh, you guys that are uh, there, you go. So Brown, it is Brownie. Barbarian Brownie. Yes. I mean that's hey. kind of a cooler name, but you got to change your uh, your icon now to uh, axe going into a brownie. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That way people know how Fair to pronounce right. it. Yeah. <laughs> Barbarian, Barbarian Brownie. Oh, you posted it. Yes. 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 Sweet. Yes. Sweet. I'm gonna go yeah. I'm gonna go like that right now. <laughs> Alrighty, wow. fellas. We're gonna get going and thank you all for being here. Make sure you check out the Gear Goons live stream going on right now. I dropped the link in the the chat. Uh, any last words, Drew and the CDC boys? Back the outbreak, please. If you mm. can't, share it with your friends and family and enemies and coworkers and grandmas and grandpas. And anybody with money that can help fund it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Mallory. you for being here, Mr. Mallory. Yeah, thanks for joining, Mallory. Um, I got one question for you, Drew from Smoky Mountain. What's up, bud? Has it changed your mind any at all on knives now that you've opened your eyes to this? No, because I still feel a well-constructed, inexpensive knife. I call bullcrap because you said you put the ZT on your list. I did, but it doesn't change my opinion of a well-constructed 
an expensive knife will feel the same, if not better, as an expensive knife. Okay, fair. fair. So fair. I, I definitely my my opinion's still the same, but I have a more I I will say my appreciation for ZT has grown. Okay. Because I've never really handled a ZT knife except that little mini shipwreck one. That they really do a great job. So that I my opinion is. See a whole blog about this. Uh, well, I can't do that. I did this off company time, unfortunately. <laughs> so this is all non-company based. <laughs> Alrighty, Drew, give us the the, the rundown on Knife One Hundred and One. Yeah, so go check us out. Um, I'm the lead writer for Knives One Hundred and One on smkw.com/slash Knife One Hundred and One. Um, go check us out over there. Uh, if you want to learn anything about knives, get into knives, see some new releases, what this type of steel is, um, why this is this way in the knife industry, look it up. Um, it's going to be, I'm trying to make it the absolute um, information hub for all things knives. So I do all the research, writing, image, most of the image creation. It's it's pretty much my baby. So go check it out. Hell yeah. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Click the links down below. We will catch you in the next stream. And uh, hit that like button if you haven't already.